Hi students, good morning. I hope you all are fine. Welcome to Grade Eleven Business Mathematics class. So we have completed two chapters. Is it right? I hope you all of you learn the two chapters thoroughly and you are all maintaining your classworks neatly. So those who not completed, please complete first two units thoroughly. Okay. So as well as you write everything to your classwork, complete all the homeworks as well as learn it also. Okay. So last class I said. Next class we will start our new chapter. Okay, it's the third chapter, analytical geometry. I think in your tenth standard you have learned one chapter geometry. Is it right? So, eleventh uh, grade onwards we will learn uh, analytical geometry. Okay, um, so it is somewhat new, uh, but uh, uh, coordinate geometry you learned in tenth standard. Normal geometry also you learned. Is it right? Theoretical geometry. This is somewhat different. Uh, but the thing is very easy. But we need to learn some formulas here, some definitions are there. So one by one we will learn. Um, it is easy only. Okay. So let's move to the chapter analytical geometry first. What do you mean by geometry? What's the word geometry? Okay. So I will explain the word geometry. Geometry uh, is a word that derived from geo. Okay. Geo means what? Geo means Yet, is it right? Metron means measuring. Okay, so the need of measuring the land is the origin of geometry. So, what's the origin of geometry? Is the origin of geometry is the need of measuring the land. For measuring the land is the origin of geometry. Understand? Uh, so, this is now no need, but simply you um, you go through this. Okay. So, uh, then. Analytical geometry. What's the use of analytical geometry? Yes, it is used in use in aircraft industry, especially when dealing with the shape of a airplane fuselage. We will use that one. Okay, it's all in your book. You will learn it. So let's move to the section. First section is locus. This is new locus. So first, you need to know what you mean by locus. First, I'm giving the definition. All of you take down your notes. Put the heading analytical geometry. Put the heading locus and write down the definition three point one to your note. That is a two line definition. The path traced by a moving point under some specified geometrical condition is called its locus. Okay, a path traced by a moving point. That's locus. The path traced by a moving point under some specific geometric condition. Okay, the path. Traced by a moving point under some specified geometrical condition is called locus. Please take down these two lines to your notes. Then next one is equation of a locus. This one, when I am doing the problem, I will explain you what is the equation of a locus. Okay, just now you see your book. There one diagram is given. Uh, a locus of a point P of x one comma y one whose distance from the fixed point C of h comma k is a constant in a circle. The fixed point C is a center. Then the locus of a point whose distance from a two points A and B are equal is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. Just you read it. Now when I am explaining, you go, you won't get any idea. So when we are doing the problem, I will explain what is the equation of a locus because the reason is we are going to find equation of a locus in the problems. Okay, got it? Okay, let's move to the problem. First question, example three point. Understand? All of you put down the heading unit three. Put down the side heading locus. Write down the definition. Okay, two lines definition. Afterwards, directly move to example three point. A point in the plane moves so that its distance from the origin is thrice its distance from the y-axis. Okay, first we are going to draw the diagram. Diagram is not necessary, but 
you can draw no problem so this is x axis this is y axis okay a point in a plane moves so that the distance from the origin is thrice its distance from the y axis okay so thr thrice the distance from the y axis it must be the point here they said so we can consider the point p of x comma y here okay they said the point in a plane so that its distance from the origin so let us consider this as origin o okay so o means origin the point is 0 comma 0 so you can join this to o and p okay same as that from the origin is thrice its distance from the y axis okay so from here to here distance from the y axis okay so let us consider this point is a okay so it is in y axis so x point is 0 correct so x point is 0 y we will get y got it so this is a diagram understand so what they said a point in a plane moves this is a point it will be moved under its certain condition that is locus Con understand so a point in a plane moves so that a distance from the origin is thrice the distance from the y axis okay so what we are going to do is whatever the consideration you can write it first solution let p of x comma y same as in your book you can do that is let us consider this point as x1 y1 same as that you can do then only your own con confusion okay so p of x1 y1 b any point on the locus and a be the foot of the perpendicular correct it's a perpendicular be the foot of the perpendicular from p of x1 comma y1 to the y axis okay this is all the things we have considered now what is a given condition given the point in a plane so that the distance from the origin is it right distance from the origin so op that is op distance is equal to is thrice the distance from the y axis so thrice is it right so three times the distance from the y axis so from the y axis the point is ap according to the given condition i have wrote this understand so what's the given condition the distance from the origin is thrice that it's a distance from the y axis so from the y axis it is ap distance from the origin is op so op is three times of ap okay now we can square both sides squaring on both sides squaring means op square is equal to 3 square means 9 ap square got it okay next we will use the distance formula what's the formula for distance between two points you have learned in lower class is it right distance between two points what's the formula it's equal to square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square this is a point distance formula but here the uh, thing is square is it right so square root no need got it so op square first you need to find for finding op square let us consider this as x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so what will happen here otherwise p is p o square negative you will get for that you can find p o square anything that's also correct so when you are doing so what's substitute in op square okay so what's the value we get x1 minus 0 the whole square plus y1 minus 0 the whole square is equal to 9 into ap square ap square means keep it in mind x1 minus 0 is it right so this also you can consider as y1 okay so what will happen 9 into x1 minus 0 the whole square plus y1 minus y1 the whole square so what will happen here x1 square plus y1 square is equal to 9 into this will be 0 9 into x1 square so bring this to the side so what will happen 9 x1 square minus x1 square plus y sorry minus y1 square is equal to 0 from that what's the answer 8 x1 square minus y1 square is equal to 
zero. Yes, we need to find the locus of a point P of x1, y1. So in the place of x1, y1, you will get this equation. Is it right? So x and y. So therefore, the locus of P of x1, y1 is what's the answer? X square minus y square is equal to zero. This is the answer. Understand? So I will repeat. So P of x1, y1 be any point on the locus and A be the foot of the perpendicular. Everything same as in your book I am considering. No problem. First itself you can take as x and y, x and y. No problem. Yeah, both are correct. Okay. So you will get confusion. Example problem. Uh, in your book uh, they followed uh, x1, y1, y mom you are doing as x, y. Because of that I took the same. Okay. So uh, no problem. x, y means that also correct. So OP is equal to 3AP square. Use the distance formula. Here you will get an X1, Y1. So the locus of a point P of X1, Y1 means X1 and Y1 will change as X and Y. Okay. Got it. So this is a very easy. Okay. Let's move to the next question. Example 3.2. Find the locus of the point which is uq distance from the two points. Okay. So let us draw one small diagram. Uh, if you need x axis or y axis, otherwise simply you can draw. So here two points are there. This one you consider as A. That is 2 comma minus 3. This one you consider as B. The point is 3 comma minus 4. They said it will be uq distance from the locus of the point. So let's find this consider as P of x, y means both this distance and this distance must be equal. That's the thing they said. So A, P must be equal to B, P. Otherwise P, A must be equal to P, B. Okay, that's the condition they gave. According to that condition, use the distance formula. You will get that. Sir. Understand? So same as in your book, you can take this as x, one y. So write down the solution. Let's. A point is 2 comma minus 3. And b 3 comma minus 4 be the given points okay this is a given point okay what's the locus of a point we have to p of x1 y1 so let's p of x1 comma y1 be any point on the locus okay so given that both are equidistant is it right yes or no equidistant so they said p a must be equal to p b so you will apply that p a is equal to p b so same as that you can square it first itself otherwise after finding you need to square okay squaring on both sides when you are squaring on both sides what will happen p a square is equal to P B square. Now use the distance formula. Okay. If you need to write the points first. That is X1, Y1. Then uh, A point is 2 comma minus 3. Um, you consider this as X1, Y1. Y1. This is X2, Y2. Otherwise no problem. Both also correct. Okay. Uh, you can change and take. Everything correct. Then this one. Uh, next one is P B. P B means X1, Y1. Um, this one is 3 comma minus 4 that is reason is when you are squaring you will get positive okay both are correct so substitute in this formula so x1 minus 2 is there is it right 2 the whole square plus y1 minus of minus so plus 3 the whole square is equal to next one is pb that is x1 minus b value is 3 the whole square next value minus 3 so it minus 4 it will change this positive so y1 plus 4 the whole square. Now simplify very clear, carefully. a minus b the whole square. Okay. So what's the value we get? a square minus 2ab. So, so 4 x1 plus 2 square means plus 4. Next one a plus b the whole square. a square plus 2ab means 6y1 plus 9 equal to x1 square minus 2ab means minus 6x1 plus 9. 
the next one is y1 square plus 2 a b minus 8 y1 plus 16 okay bring all the terms to one side and we will simplify okay so we can simplify here so x1 square x1 square will get cancelled so bring all the terms to one side same as y1 square y1 square get cancelled so minus 6x1 if you are bringing this to here so flow 4 plus x1 then plus 8y1 is there if you are bringing this side minus 6y1 plus 16 is there if you are bringing this to this side you will get minus 9 is equal to 0 so from that minus 2x1 this one plus 2y1 plus what's the next one you will get as uh, we have uh, here have one more 4 is there is it right so 16 uh, is there so plus 9 is there so if you are bringing this to this side minus 4 minus 9 so this and this will get cancelled so 16 minus 4 minus it will get 12 is equal to 0 so you will divide this equation by minus okay the y minus the starting is minus so divide by minus 2 minus we watch the value you will get here x1 minus y1 minus 6 is equal to 0 so at, at last when you are finding the locus of the point p of x1 y1 means you need to change this x1 y1 as x y okay the locus of p x1 comma y1 is what's the equation x minus y minus 6 is equal to 0 this is the answer understand so very easy equidistance means equal distance that's the meaning so p a is equal to p b from that you can uh, put the formula for distance formula first itself you can square it and put the formula and simplify at last in the place of x1 y1 you need to change as x y got it okay i hope you got good idea let's move to next problem last example one more example is there in this section example 3 point first time writing the question find the locus of a point so that the join of minus 5 comma 1 and 3 comma 2 substance a right angle at the moving point okay so what's the question find the locus of a point so that the join so that the join of minus 5 comma 1 and 3 comma 2 substance a right angle at the moving point okay right angle means the meaning is 90 degree okay so 90 degree that's the meaning so here you can draw on symbol diagram so if you are considering this point as a the point is given as minus 5 comma 1 this point is 3 comma 2 the point is b okay so here it will be p of x comma y i am considering they said substance at the right angle so this angle is 90 degree okay so if you are drawing this perpendicular bisector means it will be 90 degree okay that's the meaning so 90 degree so a p b the value is 90 degree that's the only solution let a minus 5 comma 1 and b 3 comma 2 be the given points okay set given points then let p of x1 y1 be any points on the locus okay it is given in the question given it is given in the question angle a p b what's the value 90 degree why 90 degree right angle right angle means what's the angle 90 degree i mean understand so a p b equal to 90 degree so triangle a p b is a right angle triangle i'm right so triangle a p b is a right angle triangle angle p is 90 degree is a right angle triangle so right angle triangle means at once we will use pythagoras theorem have you know so that one we are going to use so right angle triangle uh, so we will use pythagoras theorem so when you are using the pythagoras theorem here what's the biggest sign bp is it right so bp square is equal to uh, sorry ba is it right so ba square is equal to pa square plus pb square if you need you write it on the side by using pythagoras theorem okay 
వాట్సాప్ ఇది దగ్గర తీయరాము యూ హ్యావ్ లర్న్ ప్రూఫ్ అండ్ ఆల్ ఇన్ టెన్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఇస్ ఇట్ రైట్ సో సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్క్వాస్ ఆఫ్ అదర్ టూ సైడ్స్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ద స్క్వాస్ ఆఫ్ ద హై పార్ట్ న్యూస్ ఇన్ ఎ రైట్ యాంగిల్ ట్రయాంగిల్ దట్స్ ద మెయిన్ థింగ్ సో హియర్ ఇట్స్ అ రైట్ యాంగిల్ ట్రయాంగిల్ సో ఇన్ ఎ రైట్ యాంగిల్ ట్రయాంగిల్ ఇట్స్ అ హై పార్ట్ న్యూస్ స్క్వార్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్క్వాస్ ఆఫ్ అదర్ టూ సైడ్స్ ఓకే సో వీ విల్ యూస్ ఇట్ హియర్ ఓకే సో వాట్స్ ద బిఏ పాయింట్ డైరెక్ట్లీ వీ క్యాన్ డూ బిఏ ఇస్ ఇట్ రైట్ సో ఇట్స్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఫార్ములా x2 minus x1 the whole square is it right so minus 5 minus 3 okay 3 the whole square uh, plus 1 minus 2 the whole square is equal to pa square means x1 minus of minus plus 5 the whole square if you need you can write one more step then pb plus y1 y2 minus y1 that is y1 minus 1 the whole square same as next pb square means x1 is it right consider this as x1 y1 so x1 minus 3 the whole square plus y1 minus 2 the whole square now same as previous problem we need to simplify so what's the value you'll get minus 8 is it right so minus 8 square plus minus 1 the whole square is equal to a plus b the whole square so a square plus 2 a b means 10 x1 plus 25 halfly then plus y1 square minus 2 ab means minus 2 y1 plus 1 square then next one is plus x1 square minus 2 ab means minus 6 x1 plus 9n plus y1 square minus 2 ab means minus 4 y1 plus 4 okay so we'll simplify so 8 square minus 8 square means 64 plus 1 is equal to <coughs> shall we simplify this one so x1 x1 square is there so both also addition so 2 x1 square then y1 square y1 square 2 y1 square then y x1 term this 2 so plus 4 x1 then this 2 term minus 6 y1 then uh, additional terms 25 25 plus 1 means 26 26 plus 9 means 35 35 plus 4 35 plus 4 means 39 okay so bring all the terms to one side so 2 x1 square plus 2 y1 square plus 4 x1 minus 6 y1 plus 39 minus 65 equal to 0 so what's the value 2 x1 square plus 2 y1 square plus 4 x1 minus 6 y1 then minus 13 equal to 0 so the locus of the point p of x comma y x1 y1 is it right so the locus of p of x1 comma y1 is change everything to x y so 2 x square is 2 x square plus 2 y square plus 4 x minus 6 y minus uh, 13 correct sorry it's not 13 okay it's 20 26 so minus 26 is equal to 0 so everywhere 2 is common so you will divide by 2 so when you are dividing by 2 x square plus y square plus 2x minus 3y minus 13 equal to 0 this is a required answer understand students i hope you got good idea i will explain from first onwards so find the locus of a point so that the join of minus 5 comma 1 and two points are given substance as a right angle so right angle means we will use pythagoras theorem so right angle triangle sum of the squares of uh, the two sides is equal to sum of this equal to the squares of the hypotenuse so we will use that property okay so b a square is equal to uh, this one square plus this one square so take it and simplify finally we will divide by two and we will need to write the remaining okay children okay this how the Uh, examples in first section so exercise uh, some problems are there so one problem i will explain you for you and you need to do as homework okay so i will explain and give otherwise you it will be very difficult to do okay so first problem i will explain and i will leave you to homework remaining we will do in the next class okay so all of you take down your homework this is your homework but i will explain so first problem find the locus of a point which is equal distance from 1 comma 3 and x axis i am drawing the diagram it will be easy for you so it is x axis it is y axis so they said it is a point so you consider the point here okay a point is 1 comma 3 it will be q distance from the x unit so it is x units okay so if you consider a locus it will be here p of x comma y it's a moving point keep it in mind it will be a 
moving point okay so when you are doing how will you do p of x1 comma y1 be the point on a locus a be the fixed point p is a moving point a is a fixed point this you keep it in mind so from the given condition they ask set it's in the x axis is it right so point in the x axis means y1 you will get so p a equal to y1 alone you will get so from that p a square is equal to y1 square so p a square means you know is it right p what's the point x1 comma y1 you consider as x1 y1 a point you know 1 comma 3 so you will use the distance formula so x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y2 square is equal to r h is y1 square at last when you are simplifying you will get the answer as x square minus 2x minus 6y plus 10 is equal to 0 this is answer you will get it okay so i i think you can do this problem uh, i explain so do this problem as a homework so remaining four problems are there we will see in the next class students be safe please write down everything to your note those not completed the previous chapters completed and take down this new chapter learn from first onwards then only you won't get confusion so today we have learned only locus and how will you find the equation of the locus understand so whatever i have completed today please learn it okay we will meet in the next class with the exercise problems thank you students